This tutorial is to show you how you graph inequalities uh, in a uh, two-dimensional plane using the online graphing calculator. This calculator. Okay. So let me show you how you graph the linear inequality y greater than two. First thing is when you're using the online graphing calculator, you need to solve for y. Okay, you need to isolate the Y because what goes in these boxes is whatever is after the Y, after the equal sign, after the greater than, less than, any inequality, okay, symbol. So when if I want to graph Y greater than 2, okay, I don't need to type this Y in the graphing calculator because it's already there. That's the Y1 you see here. Now, why you have four Ys, it means you can... Uh, graph for uh, you can make four graphs uh, when you isolate for the variable y. This is the first equation, second equation, third and fourth. Okay, so I want to type y is greater than two, and to do that in this calculator, first I already have the y there, so I don't need to type that. Second, I need to change the equation to an inequality. In this case, is greater than. Okay, you can see that it changed there. And now I'm going to type 2. The only thing I need to do next is hit the graph. And you can see that there's going to be a horizontal line crossing the y-axis on 2. Okay, and then everything is shaded above. Why everything is shaded above? Because that's what it says here. You want all the y values that are above the line that cross the y-axis on 2. Okay, now in reality, uh, this line here should be dotted, but for this calculator, what they do is a, a thin line means dotted, and a thick line, it will be solid. See, you can see how thick is this line, but that's when you use greater than or equal. Okay, but when you use only greater than or less than, okay, the line is going to be uh, thin, skinny. All right, but in in reality it should be dotted all right it means that the value 2 is not going to be included for the y okay so this is how you graph that one now let's say i want to graph uh, y is less than 2x plus 3 again you're not going to type the y in the calculator you're just going to type this side well this 2 everything to the right side of the y is what I need to type in the calculator so let me clear this and I want y less than 2x plus 3 so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna choose the less than once you choose it now you type the expression 2x plus 3 and then you hit the graph and that's how uh, the that's how you graph the inequality in the calculator this line okay this thin line is supposed to be dotted you can see here that the the B the Y intercept is 3 so it crosses the Y axis on 3 right there okay and the slope is 2 so this line is inclined has an inclination of positive 2 alright now what happens if you have an equation let me erase this that is not solved for Y like for example 2x minus 3y is uh, greater than or equal than 6. Well then your job is to solve for y. So the first thing we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to subtract 2x on both sides of the inequality. So that leaves you with, uh, that's going to leave you with, this is gone, negative 3y is greater or equal than 6 minus 2x. The next step is I need to divide by uh, I need to divide by negative 3 to isolate the y. So I'm going to divide by negative 3 the left side and the right side of the inequality. Now I'm going to divide every term of the inequality by negative 3. Now negative 3y divided by negative 3 is going to be just y. Now because you divide both sides of the inequality by a negative, the inequality has to be reversed. Okay, and then 6 divided by negative 3, that will give you negative 2. Negative divided by negative is positive. And 
2x over 3 is really 2 third x. Now I'm ready to graph this inequality and what I did is I converted it into slope intercept form. That's why you need to solve for y. That's the only way the calculator can graph, at least the one that I'm showing you here. Okay, so it was y, let me go back and see, is y less than or equal, so let's change this to less than or equal, here it is, and I'm going to type, let me see, what was the next thing, negative 2 plus 2 thirds, negative 2 plus, now the fractions always put it in parentheses, okay, like I did, 2 thirds x, any fraction always put it in parentheses, like I did, and now graph, oops, I did something wrong here. Oh, I think I know why it's the parentheses then. Let me see if it work. There it is. Okay. So no, don't do not include the parentheses around the fraction. Leave it without the parentheses like I did there. Okay. And this is how you graph using the online graphing calculator. All right. I hope this helps.